Hello everyone, welcome to CSC Fan TV. As you can see on the Carra Road, it's just gone full time. The Norwich fans are very happy, understandably, because they've got a replay back at the bridge. Let's face it, it's the last thing we needed. We've got a patch schedule. Uh, it really, really was a terrible performance. Uh, first half was excruciating. It's one of the worst, one of the worst things for a while. The players are just coming over now. Uh, and they, they should thank these fans, they've been wonderful. Uh, there's 4,000 here today and they made a right back right here. I, hang on, I'll, I'll let them sing for a minute. difficult with these teams that you know you, you put these teams for these cup games and it, it's a group of players that never played together before you're playing against a lower league side um, and uh, you know it, it, it's very difficult to step into a team that's got a real rhythm and um, and find a you know find a way into the game when when you're playing with players that you don't play with on a regular basis and and, and you know maybe you've had four or five weeks out of the team Louise has had a long time out of the team um, second half was was better, it's particularly the first bit, but I think Conte gave him a real rollick in at half time. Um, but yeah, um, especially the first half, I mean, no one covered themselves in glory tonight. Uh, Bradshaw, I thought, was really, really poor. In fact, there was a bit of a cheer when he came off. Um, Bakayoko again had a really, really poor game. Um, Morata came on but didn't really seem to be able to do anything much. I mean, I think when uh, when Zafra Costa is one of your like, probably your best player, I think you've probably uh, got some problems. Um, I'd love to stand here and say like loads of positive things. Obviously, it was great to see Masonda and uh, Dujon Sterling come on, but um, that's about it. I mean, we had a lot more chances in the second half. I uh, had a lot more shots on goal. I thought Tringwater was okay, but the, the we didn't get to grips with the midfield. The attack were completely isolated. We made too many stupid mistakes in defence. Gave the ball away far too much. And yeah, it was um, not a good day in the office. It's a great result for Norwich. And look, we under no illusions. This is not like a top championship side. They're, they're quite a long way off the playoffs. Uh, I think nine points. Um, so yeah, it is, it is a really bad day in the office for us. And um, obviously very happy not to go out of the cup. But it's really no good that... You know, we've got, we've got yet another game. We're in the semi-final of the League Cup. So I, I think it goes, we've got Arsenal on Wednesday, then Leicester, then we probably play these again. And then it's uh, Brighton away, and then Arsenal again. You know, it, it's thick and fast. And we know we've got a thin squad. Um, and, you know, it's going to be tested to its absolute capabilities. And they've only got themselves to blame. Um, it's absolutely freezing up here, so I'm going to go pretty soon. And a half-time bothrel, which anyone who's cold at football, trick of the trade, go have a bothrel. But, um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I'm staying up here tonight, so I'm going to go for a, a beer and a curry for, uh, for not the first time. And, uh, and yeah, let me know what you thought of the game. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, comment below, and I'll, uh, I'll have a look at some of the comments. Cheers.